This video is brought to you by Insta360. Hey buddy. Hey buddy. Good to see you buddy. You wanna go outside? Did you go potty? Good boy, there you go. Atta boy. Here you go. Sit. Paw. Good boy. Here's a treat. Good boy. Hey, good night, buddy. Love you. It's pretty sweet, right? It's a super small camera, and you can literally kind of put it everywhere. It's as small as your finger. It's man, where is it? Oh, yeah, you know, I think I left it in here. Uh let's see. <laughs> Oh, there it is right there. Okay. So this is the Insta360 Go. It literally is as small as your finger or your thumb. Like, that's how small it is. I've even seen some people do this. You can get some great POV shots with this. And it actually enhances with the storytelling, which we'll talk about in a moment. Okay, this is the Insta360 Go right here. Look, you'll see it literally is the same size as my thumb. But that's not all that it comes with. So you have this record button on the front, you have this quick capture button, but also these charging magnets on the back. And this thing is magnets. You can record it from this way to this way and it'll still record it any way that you want it. Whether you want to record vertical video or horizontal video, you have those options in there. But also it comes with this action pod. And this is kind of like, honestly, how you charge it. And so what you would do is you would put the camera in the action pod right there. It locks in there. And the way to get it out is by pressing this button here and then pulling that out. Honestly, it's a little action camera with this flip-up screen. So I fold up my screen and I can actually see myself on the screen here. And then what I could do is I can hold it up just like that and I can use it as a vlogging camera. Here we are, we're vlogging. This is great, it has great stabilization in it. Everything that we kind of like expect from action cameras at this point. But what I like about this is the flip-up screen. Insta360 has done this with their Ace Pro. They've also done it here with their Go 3. You could use the action pod as a monitor and have this camera be wherever you want it to be. I can hold this out, I can monitor my shot, and honestly, it's pretty cool having remote control video for your camera, especially when the camera is this small. So the possibilities are endless here. So that's pretty much the setup with the Go 3. Um, you have quick capture power, you have a couple mics around it, you have a record button on the top. On this side right here is where you can unlock your camera to take off the camera, and then also a USB-C port for charging. This is not water resistant, do not put this into water, but, the camera itself, you can put it into water. So just don't put the whole action pot into water. Just put the camera into water. You can put it into glass, take a drink, get those shots. So with this setup, you can actually get really creative with your shots. So for example, you have this pendant. You can put the pendant on under your shirt. And what I would do is I would put this onto my shirt with my pendant underneath. When I'm done with it, I would remove it. Then I could put it back into the action pod when I'm done with that shot. So the pendant is a great option for those POV shots. The thing is, the magic thing about content is you really only need to record like five, 10 seconds. Another thing that you can do for POV shots is use your glasses. So this right here, this is a hat clip and you can clip it onto your hat and put the camera right into there. But say I don't wanna wear a hat, I wanna wear my glasses. We could do, let's, let's Casey Neistat style this and rig this up, get a little gaff tape. We'll put the tape underneath. And I'm just going to tape this onto my glasses for some really good POV shot. I'm going to put the camera in there. I mean, it'll block what you're doing, but this will really give you like eye level POV shots. You can play around with this as well, or you could just straight up not even use that. I mean, hat clip, so that's an accessory. And we could just literally tape this straight onto the glasses. There's a microphone hole on the top there, so you don't want to block that. Uh, you can cover the light though if you want. If you want to be sneaky like that. And this is like if I want to get some decent POV shots literally from where my eyes are. And a couple of mountain options that they give you in the combo pack is this pivot stand right here. This pivot stand is pretty sweet. What you could do with this is it magnets to the bottom, it clips and it locks in. So that's not going anywhere. And then you would pinch and those teeth right here will go loose and you pull it out. 
Well, that's pretty cool. And what this is, is you could use it as a stand, just like that. You can pivot around. You can see different angles that you can pivot this at, and it can be a stand there. Or if you remove this from the bottom, this is a reusable adhesive, so you could take that off, and this can stick onto things. It's very sticky. So if I wanted to, I could stick it to the box, hold it there for 10 seconds, make sure it stays, and you can get those quick shots from that angle. You can hear it came off, and it came off clean there. And to reuse it again, all you have to do is clean it with water. If I want to just keep it as a stand, I get that. Also, you know, let me turn this off. This is going to go crazy while we're using it. Also, at the bottom of the pivot stand, you could twist this off, and now you have a quarter inch 20, so where you could put a tripod mounting plate on the bottom of there and use that any way you want, and then when that's on there, you could click to remove. So that's a pretty cool accessory, and this one right here works the same way. I just magnet and make sure that clips on there, so now that's sturdy. But on the bottom, you have a quarter inch 20 thread, so you could put a mounting plate on there, just as before. You also have these teeth mount for the traditional action cameras as we've seen. So if you got tons of action camera mounts, you could still use them. But I want to show you this right here. This is the monkey tail. And this monkey tail you could get, and it really is like you could wrap around the bars onto something. You could use it as a stand. You could really be creative with this monkey tail, but it's stiff. Like, you can move it, and it'll stay. But there's a quarter inch 20 um, screw on the top, and you can mount this into the bottom. And now that's on there, so you could use this monkey tail with your Insta360. I could even use this as a tripod stand, just like this, like that. And that stays. To release and remove it, I squeeze, and now I have that off. Put it back on, I have it on, I just wanna make sure it stays. I mean, you could even use this monkey tail as a selfie stick. Like, that's pretty sweet. And then to pack it away, you could fold it and put that away. But I wanna talk about the action cam feet on here, which I'm gonna use with this like head strap with the traditional action camera threads on them. So here's the head strap here. This is just one I got off Amazon. I'll put a link there if you wanna purchase it. But I have this, I'll remove this, and then what I can do is I can unscrew the screw. I can unfold the action mount feet, put that in there. And now I have what you've seen before, an action cam on my head, but look at that. It's kind of flimsy, it's kind of heavy, right? Because I don't have that support on the top. What I could do is I will squeeze the sides, and then what I could do, because it's on my head, and I want to make sure I get a good shot and a good angle, the camera itself actually has the same mounting grips as the action pod itself. So, what that means is, I had this action pod on my head, but now I could actually put the camera on here. You'll hear a little click, and that's on there, that's not going anywhere. So now I could fold this back up. I can put this on my head. It's a lot lighter, so it's a lot quicker for me to be able to use. To make sure I have the right angle, I'm going to turn on my action pod, and you can see that I can actually refocus the angle for where I need it to be. And I can even record and have that start recording on my head. And then I can have this somewhere if I want to view it from riding my bike or something. You can mount this onto something, see what you're seeing, have the view on your screen, and just kind of control that. It's just nice to monitor what you're filming, right? So then you can stop recording from there. I mean, that's pretty sweet. That's a pretty sweet setup. Okay, so there's a lot of cameras out there. Let me tell you why you would need this camera. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be real with you. When Insta360 sent me out this camera, I thought it was so cool. Cause you see the use case for it everywhere what other people are doing and like, that's cool. And for me, I got it and it honestly took me a little bit to figure out like, how does this work into my workflow? Because, because I have other cameras with interchangeable lenses that aren't as portable. Um, I have my phone, I have other small cameras that'll work to do what I need it to do. There is something very unique about this camera and, and mark my words, I really do mean this. This camera, is not just great for action, it's great for storytelling. Because you could fit this into small and compact places, you can storytell in a different way that you couldn't have before. You be the judge of it, you can search online, but you can see how creative people are getting with it. And honestly, it, like, it really makes you think about storytelling because, because you're dealing with three to five second clips at a time. That's all you need if you're storytelling online, in my opinion. And so it got me to creatively think about this of like, okay, where do I want to film next for my next angle? How do I want to tell this story? The, the video you saw earlier of me taking my dog out to go potty, like that was a story in itself. I'm like, I cannot believe I literally just put together a quick video story of my dog 
going out to the bath. But it was creative and it got my mind thinking some more. So that's what I think the strengths are of this camera is it allows you to be creative in pretty much your everyday life. My, my life isn't that exciting. And I was able to tell a story from it that, I don't know, are there any tiny toy poodle lovers out there as well as me? Because I think they're awesome. But those are my thoughts on the Insta360 Go. Great brand. Thank you again, Insta360, for setting this out. If you want to learn more about this camera, I'll have links to it in the description below. Um, there are affiliate links, obviously, so if you purchase through there, I get a little kickback. And honestly, you're not going to be disappointed. This is a great action camera. Insta360 is one of the most creative brands when it comes to the action camera market. And, uh, and I stand by what I say. So thanks again for watching. If you found value in this video, thanks again for coming by. Please subscribe to the channel. Help me grow this thing. Share it with your friends. Like the video. And yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Peace.